If I respond with the coding skills of a toaster, but I still had my vast infinite knowledge of how I learned web development, then this is how I would do it again. Every resource in this video is free and there are no sponsors. Let's start with the foundations of front-end web development, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You'll need to learn how to build basic websites using these. I have two free resources for learning the foundations, the Odin project, which is mandatory, and Freed Code Camp, which is optional. The Odin project doesn't provide any handholding, and once you start, you're already thrown out to the wolves. It forces you to apply the knowledge that you've learned through reading by building projects. There's a ton of reading about motivation, mindset, how the web works, code editors, command line, and Git basics. These are all things that you need to learn to work as a software engineer, but you don't learn this in university because you're too busy learning about more important things like derivatives and integrals. So yeah, while there is a ton of reading, you don't need to memorize everything you read and they don't expect you to. But the Odin project will be difficult, especially if you have zero coding knowledge. Most people will probably give up here, but when you're learning any difficult skill, it's all about persistence. Just give yourself some more time, especially when you feel like giving up. Don't give up when you're emotional and struggling, only decide to give up when things are going good. But the good thing is, you don't have to suffer alone. There's a community discord where you can suffer together. Now the second resource is free CodeCamp. I recommend the first two, responsive web design and JavaScript algorithms and data structures. You can do this on the side when you're dying from too much reading in the Odin project. If you look at how much content there is here to actually do, there is way too much and no one has time to finish all of this. You can skip around and do the ones that interest you. This section is totally optional. But if you were somehow able to complete all of these, congrats, you have no life. So now that you've definitely finished all of Freed Code Camp and the Odin project, you need to refine your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript skills by building more projects. I would use Frontend Mentor for this. Frontend Mentor is a website where you can build frontend projects given a design and guidelines. It's really important to build projects using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript before you move on to a framework like React. Later on, you'll rebuild these websites using React, and that'll help you understand why we use a UI framework. So I would start by building a few novice and junior projects. This is kind of similar to how you'd build front-end websites at a job, but without the UX designer getting mad at you over pixel-perfect design. After you've built these projects, now you can finally move on to a UI framework. A framework is a software library designed to help developers create user interfaces more efficiently and effectively. Most popular UI frameworks are React, Vue, and Angular. I've worked with React before, and now I'm working with Angular. I recommend React because it's the most popular framework, and I think it's the most fun. There are a ton of resources and tutorials available, and all of the ones that I'm going to recommend are in React. And if you wanted to learn one of the other frameworks later, it shouldn't be too difficult. Now there are a few paths you can take. I personally never did these resources, but I've heard a lot of good things about them. The first one is Full Stack Open. While looking through the curriculum, I noticed a lot of important topics that would be pretty useful for the job. This is like testing, advanced state management, TypeScript, relational databases. The second resource I have is Scrimda, and I've heard it's one of the best resources for learning React. And the last resource is building by yourself. If you don't want to follow a structured course and you just want to start building projects, you have all of the foundational knowledge that's necessary in order to do that. I would start by going to the React documentation and doing the tic-tac-toe tutorial. After you're done with that, you should rebuild the projects that you created earlier in Frontend Mentor using React. Once that's done, I have some recommended project ideas that you can create. The first one is a front-end website utilizing an API. This could be like creating your own chatbot using ChatGPT API. Second one is a full stack project using the Pern stack, which is Postgres database. Postgres is a relational database. This is important because this is how a lot of companies store their backend data. For learning how to build these types of projects, you can follow along a YouTube tutorial and use my tutorial-based learning method from one of my previous videos. The the idea is to code alongside the tutorial, and once you're done, try to rebuild a different version of it from scratch. If you need any help, then refer to that part of the video or Google it. I think the best way to learn a framework is to start by building projects, make mistakes, and find the solution to the problems yourself. Because problem solving is the core aspect of a software engineer. Whenever you run into a problem, these are the resources I would use. Google slash Stack Overflow, MDN Docs, React Docs, and these are some YouTubers I used a lot when I was learning. In general, don't worry too much about writing bad code. 
The most important thing is that your project works. When you start working at a job, other people will give you feedback about your code in code reviews, and that's how you really improve, so don't worry too much about it right now. It's fine if you have all of your logic in one file, it doesn't have to be perfect. So that's how I would learn WebDev again for free. But if you wanted to go from zero coding experience to software engineer in just two seconds, just buy my 